What's going on guys? I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I take eight quarter lumber and turn it into some chunky table legs. Let's go. Most of the time when I do tables, I like chunky legs or bases. It's hard to find kiln dried lumber that's thick enough to achieve the size that I want. So that's where this process comes into play. I start out at the table saw ripping the material down to width. With this eight quarter, I ripped it down to about four inches. Then I cut it to rough length over at the miter saw. These particular legs are for the benches, but the same process applies for the table legs as well. I'm really liking the shadow line on this Delta Cruiser. It's a lot better than the laser lights you usually get. Don't forget to put on safety glasses like I did. Once I had them trimmed to size, I prepped my glue area with paper, and I also taped the clamps to prevent glue from getting stuck to them. I figure out which sides are best to face outward, and then apply a thick, even layer of glue to the inside face. You can use a spreader to make sure the glue is fairly even. Once the glue is applied, you can put the boards together and lightly snug down the clamps, making sure that the boards stay as even as possible. And then apply two more clamps on top in the center and tighten them all down in sequence from the center out. Check to make sure that the boards have stayed fairly even. This will make the milling process much easier. Something else that will help make it easier is wiping off any excess glue squeeze out with a wet rag or a paper towel. So now what I have to do is, first of all, get rid of this glue, and then I have to run this face through the joiner and then once that's done, I can use that face as a reference to run through the planer and flatten the other side. What I actually do also is when I do this side, I do one of the faces as well with the side I just jointed against the fence. So that is actually 90 degrees. So then I can take it to the planer and do the opposite side of the first side and then the opposite side of the second side. That way it should, in theory, all be square. So let me take you through that process. To get the remaining glue off, you can use a number of methods. A scraper is effective, but sometimes can damage the wood if you're not careful. A cheap block plane works pretty well and is probably my preferred method. I say cheap because you don't want to be going after dry glue with your expensive hand planes. Another option is a card scraper. It works really well for smaller amounts of glue and leaves a nice finish. The last option I usually use is an old chisel, especially if there's any larger glue chunks. It really gets them off nicely. Be careful though, because it is fairly easy to gouge the wood, like that. Time to move on to the joiner. I always check for square, and most of the time I add a layer of paste wax. It's easy to put on and really helps protect the joiner surfaces, as well as lets the wood glide nicely across the bed. Just wipe it on, let it dry, and then buff it off. I do the same to the planer bed. Once the joiner is ready to go, run this side that has the two board edges first to even those up. It will likely take a few passes. Once that's done, run the face that will allow you to put the side you just jointed against the fence for reference. And then I always mark the sides that I didn't joint so I know which sides to run through the planer. Make sure you run all your legs through at each thickness, that way they all end up the same size in the end. If you ever want to have a mild anxiety episode, you can run them back to back and try to keep up with the planer while keeping track of what ones you did and didn't run, all while not letting one hit the ground. Good luck. Once they're all squared up, you can take them over to the miter saw and trim them to final size. Now I know all my leg blanks are square and trimmed to size so I can get to building the base for these tables. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up, share it, all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next one.